Hey guys, Christian here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the three conversion killers and what to do to fix them. Let's get started. Over 60% of buyers leave their shopping carts without completing a purchase, and they don't come back to complete the checkout unless you incentivize them to do so. What you gonna give me? But we don't want to just end up giving away discounts to all these customers all the time. Instead, I wanna show you some simple ways you can fix your checkout process so you could reduce the cart abandonment and boost your conversion rates. So coming in at number one is your add to cart is not visible. You'd be surprised how often an interesting shopper browses to your store, picks an item, actually adds it to the cart only to forget all about it 15, 20 minutes later. The fault usually lies with a shopping cart button that's barely optimized and it doesn't turn attention to itself when someone adds to cart. So you need to make sure that the theme you selected has an obvious add to cart animation as well as a sticky cart if that's available. So the best ones are gonna be the ones that you click add to cart and it will show you the animation. Maybe uh, the side cart pops out, uh, maybe a little pop-up, then it has a button to continue shopping, etc. or a number, a tally number at the very top on your, on your cart that shows you how many items are in your cart. Now, before we move into number two, I just wanna say welcome to everyone new. My name is Christian Pinon, one of the co-founders here at Bay Branding. We've been helping frustrated store owners since 2015 become impactful store owners through tutorials, tactics, and strategies. And again, the one way you can support our channel is by hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications. Now, number two is that you're making them register. 25% of shoppers abandon their purchases because they are forced to create an account. People want instant gratification, not a commitment to your brand before even making a first purchase. So make sure that you go to your settings and you set account registration as optional. Now we're gonna jump into your computer and show you exactly where that's at. All right, so we're here at our Little Bits Treats homepage. We're gonna go to settings and then we're gonna go to checkout. And right off the bat, the second, so style, and then you have customer accounts. This should be your second option here. And it shows you accounts are disabled. Customers will only be able to check out as guests. You have optional, and then you have the required. Uh, we would highly recommend to do optional. Optional still gives your customer the ability to, next time they come back, they have an account with, the, with you. So they just in, input their email or potentially their phone number and they just can check out a lot quicker. So I would highly recommend to do accounts are optional. After you do that, you wanna click save and that's it. All right, and the third conversion killer is shipping costs. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of discounts in general uh, and I think it cheapens the brand a little bit. Think of a JCPenney's never ending sale. So the best alternative is to offer free shipping. So charging for shipping can cost you a lot. It says 61% of customers said that they would cancel an online order if it not offered free shipping. Now, if you have to charge free shipping, let's say you're selling, I don't know, the big blue locker you normally see behind our uh, backs in the videos, and it could cost, I don't know, $200, and to ship it, it could cost another $10, $15, then you do have to be upfront about it. So you would probably want to include the shipping cost and information in the product page. So that has to be a must. But the number one thing that's probably causing people to leave is that you're not offering free shipping. So consider doing that and consider watching our next video. So our next video here is going to be how to set up your shipping information on your Shopify store. But wait, I have a bonus. The fourth way to increase conversion rate is to hit that like button. Just do it, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. All kidding aside, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.